Chris. 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 Oh, okay. So, how long have you been here? I grew up here. I, I grew up here in Malawi. You grew up here? I grew up here in Malawi. So I went okay. to school here. Um, okay. I've been here since I was probably about seven years old. So a long time. Long time. It's a long, a long time. time. A long time. You are from your hometown is. Uh, so my father's English. English. And my mother's Filipino. Philippines. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was born in the Philippines, but he was an uh, expat, so he uh, okay. he worked a lot in Africa. Oh, so we spent most of our time living here. So now you are working working somewhere, or you just uh, so running I, this business? So I own this. This is a family business. Oh, this is so family I own business. this. There's a lodge. Uh, we also have some other parts of the business. Oh, we have a, a bar and a couple of other restaurants in town. Oh, okay. So, in town. Yeah. Okay. So another restaurant. Another restaurant. We've got oh. a, one called uh, LEBs, which is by ShopRite. Oh. Um, and then we uh, also used to run a bar in town called the Blue Elephant. Oh. Um, so yeah. Elephant. The Blue Elephant. Yeah. Oh. They used to be ours. So we, I'll be honest. We recently parted ways. We're just in oh. transition of moving between the two okay. at the moment. Oh. But, uh, okay. So I see here there are many white people. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the expat community has changed quite a lot. Yeah. The Malawi is very diverse at the moment. Um, there's uh, a lot of uh, European expats. Mm. There's a lot of there's a lot of Chinese. There's yeah. a lot of Chinese. Also there's really a lot of uh, there's lots of lots of definitely so in terms of Limbi because mm. uh, a lot of the Chinese came over mm. working with a company called uh, Group Five. Yeah. A few, many uh, several years ago, they were here to do construction on roads and power plants and things like that, that, helping out with infrastructure. Um, but it's got a it's quite a big change now. We've also got a lot of South Americans. Mm. Uh, Brazilians, Argentinians, because uh, they had those guys come out about five years ago to help construction of the railway, railway. On, on the border. Yeah, on so the border. On the border they between. Are the railway. Uh, they were, they were, oh, okay. they still are, but oh, okay. it's a slow progress. In Malawi, everything oh, okay. is slow. Okay. Because we are not very familiar with it. Okay. So yeah. everything to us is it's new. new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, fresh so no, yeah. They, there is a mix. There is a mix. Yeah. So obviously. we see Malawi is changed. Everything is changed. Malawi is changing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is changing slowly. Mm, it is yeah. changing slowly. As you, because you are growing up here. <laughs> it's changed a lot in the past it's 20 years. A lot. It's changed a lot in the past 20 years. Not, not, not in bad ways, not in good ways, mm. but there has been a lot of change. Steady. Uh, Steady yeah, moving. the yeah. community has changed. The expatriate community yeah. has changed. There was a period in Malawi where there were no, the, the expatriate community dropped mm. and there were a lot fewer. Mm. Uh, and then in more recent years, quite a lot of expats have come back. Okay. Um, lots of uh, lots of people working for NGOs, aid mm. companies are coming in and, help, and, and, and helping out. They do help. Yeah. So Go. you are Malawian or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Malawian. I, no, no, no. I, I would say that I'm still British. I have uh, a British passport. British. Uh, I have a British okay, passport. Got British passport. Yeah, oh, okay. but I am uh, I am uh, I am a permanent resident of Malawi. But uh, so. I, I we've got uh, that uh, Malawian passport is very easy to get British passport. So uh, the Malawians and the British, uh, so Malawi is an ex-British colony. Yeah, yeah. So there is roots yeah. to, to there, there, there is a relationship. It, it, I mean, Malawi had independence about 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. um, so now it's a little bit more difficult. Oh, um, okay. But truth, if I want a Malawi passport, I can get a Malawi passport because I've been here a long time. Yeah, because it's, for you it's very easy. Yeah, but, it should, but to be truth, it's much easier to travel on my British passport. Because so around here. There are many, many, many white people come here working. It, it, it become more and more. It's, it, it's more than it has been in the past few years, but it's still a very small number. Very small. It's number. still a very small number. Because uh, as we check the booking mm -hmm. at the Air, Airbnb, yeah. those those building and those houses, there are very few recommend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Airbnb is something that's still quite new for Malawi. I mean, Airbnb. Yeah, oh, I'll be honest. Even actually, in my house. My house around the corner. I was going. I'm going to start Airbnb in the new year. Are you starting or uh, just going to start? I'm going to start. You are going, to, going start to start because we are looking for another accommodation. Okay. Let, tonight you're, you're full. You're we're, full, full, we're, full yeah. we're full. We're full. We're full. Yeah. No, there is. There is a few Airbnbs and there's a few lodges. There's quite mm. a few hotels. Yeah. I mean, uh, generally you find the Blantyre. Mm. Well, Malawi as a whole is beginning to gear towards tourism. Oh. You know, there's a lot of tourism, local business. You know. Generally. Ge there, there is there is a lot working towards it generally. Yeah. Generally. yeah. You know. But it, it's rainy season, I think. Generally. At the moment, we're in rainy season. Yeah. 
Uh, we're just starting. We're just starting. So we've had a, we've had a bit of rain. Yeah. Uh, you'll find there'll be a little bit more rain in the next couple yeah. of weeks, yeah. and then around December January period, you, it'll be proper rainy season. Oh, okay. uh, um, so it means uh, generally it's a good season for tourists from foreign countries. Um, you find it varies. Truthfully, the the tourist season is actually more the summer, so more uh, uh, June, July, August, September. Oh, uh, dry, okay. Yeah, because you find it's very dry. Yeah. Um, the problem with the rainy season at the moment is here in Malawi, rainy season is very hot. It's very, very hot, very humid, yeah. very sticky. Uh, if you go to the game parks to see wildlife, because of the rain, uh, it's very, very green. Yeah. 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 So it's very hard to see the animals sometimes. Yeah. So you find the most tourists, they come dry season. Okay. Because dry season, there's no rain, it's a little yeah. bit cooler, yeah, 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 and yeah, the grass yeah. is not so green. So yeah. when you go to the game parks, it's a lot easier to see something. It's very easy to yeah. see the animals. Because oh, you, okay. are, you, are, you would be surprised. That's that why winter is coming. Yes, better. winter is oh, better. Because, okay, okay. I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, I've lived my whole life here, and still the most amazing thing I find with wildlife is that during the rainy season, you can be from here to there. And an elephant is there. Very close. But you won't see Because it. Because two days ago, we just got to Luwanti. Oh, Luwanti is lovely. Yeah, yeah, Luwanti yeah. majestic. But we see very few. Yes, so again, because green and that's the, grass the problem. Is hot. Yeah. Uh, and because the rain has come, like in Luwanti, you have the you have the river. Yeah, All the animals yeah, yeah. come to the river. Yeah, but now, be, now because of the rain, yeah. the river has become so big uh, that now the animals they don't need to come. Uh, so you find that this time of year is very hard to find that's it. good we animals. We take a little boat side. We take the car. Yeah, yeah. Inside, but we didn't. Boat ride is good. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you get a chance, Majetti. Mm -hmm. Any and uh, any suggestion about Malawi? What well, things to do? Yeah. Um, so uh, there's probably four good ones. Uh, so for another game park, if yes. you're going to another game park, would be Majeti. Yeah, there are nine parks. Yeah. Uh, okay. There are in total. There are uh, nine, nine parks. parks yes. Yeah. Yeah. There are nine parks, but yeah. the two predominant ones are Luwandi and Majeti. Yeah. And the other ones, they've had a lot of trouble over the years, so they're not they're not as full for game, mm. but. There's lots of support, so they're changing. Yeah. Uh, for the mountains, you can yeah. go to Mulanji. Yeah, Mulanji, we haven't started. Uh, Mulanji is beautiful. Yeah. You've got the tea estates, mm. Mm. so it's very good countryside. It's very, very pretty. But everybody mentioned about Mulanji tea estate. Yes, <laughs> the Mulanji tea estates and the mountains it are very good. It means the tea estate is very, very good. But yes, it's just big. It's yeah. very, very big, very not, established. Not because it's the only one. No, no, no. no. There's uh, So we have sugar cane and we yeah, have tea grown everywhere, but oh. Cholo is and Melange is beautiful. It's just pretty. It's, it must be. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's very oh, pretty. Okay. Uh, and then if you get a chance to go to the lake. Yeah, lake. Yeah, lake you have to go to the lake. Monkey Bay, whatever. We just got to eat the food in the restaurant, and then the owner said that he could accept the food. And he was very busy in the restaurant. And he said that the business is very busy. He said that the business is very busy. He said that the business is very busy. 老爸是英国人，然后老妈是菲律宾的。哦、oh. ，哎，然后他在菲律宾长那个出生的，但是从小在这边长大。哦、oh. ，啊，他在非洲长大。对，他一直就在这边长大，就在这边上学什么。跟着他父母过来的。应该是，嗯。然后，然后，然后他这边就运营了这个生意，然后他就说。这边白人啊，中国人啊，还有其实有很多，我们毕竟这是一个国家嘛。对。其实有很多未知的产业，你像南部那边，那个在边关那边要修铁路啊，什么有铁路，其实有很多建筑部门部门，其实我们没接触到，是不是？但其实一个国家有很多机构要运作，有很多东西百废待兴嘛，或者不是说百废待兴，就很多像非洲国家要发展，要很多东西嘛，是不是啊？那所以就说有很多我们难以想象的人，我们就想到说这边有很多白人嘛，是不是？但其实他会说到各行各业很多的白人在这边，或者说也有亚洲人来这边用餐啊什么的，所以他这边生意就有他独特的一面，是不是？然后，然后他又，那来马马拉维嘛，我们好像一个。那个旅行旅行那个旅行人士嘛，然后他就推荐了这些景点嘛什么的，然后那个就是湖边啊，然后这个布兰泰，然后那个那个那个叫什么中巴的那个山啊什么的，呃 ，Monkey Bay 什么 ，Monkey Bay 他他刚才说了一个特别特别他特别强调了三四遍一个地方叫什么
一伙一伙那个叫他写一张纸吧，我们到时候准备推荐一下，因为那个名字我们根本没听过，他又忙碌，特别推荐，他又忙碌的跑了。嗯嗯然后就布兰特，布兰特他就说他所有生意长期都在这边，因为他毕竟这边长大，他就说李龙威那边号称有一百个区嘛，各种区扯得很大块，但是这边就是很集中，然后他产业啊各方面也比较集中，他更喜欢待在这边。那么布兰特其实那个人口啊，那个城市面积啊，什么发展啊什么的，比李龙威，李龙威相当于现在是政治中心嘛，但那个布兰特他说是商业中心和经济中心。对，嗯，我们可以看到这边那个银行什么的总部很多都在这边嘛，那个都很大。因为昨天晚上刚到这边的时候，我们就在那个银行区嘛，就前面那一块，那银行都是几层楼的，那咱李龙龟就没有那么多。哦，当然那个标准银行在那边也有，啊，然后就介绍他一些生活啊，然后他一些生意啊什么的，就这些。OK， 啊，然后就说马拉维在发展，在发展，在发展。你觉得马拉维在发展吗？对呀，我觉得马拉维在发展。虽然我是之前五年前来过，但是现在再来看，特别是来到这个南部的布兰特尔，这就是感觉确实是不能只看首都啊。去个地方，你只看首都，以为首都就这么穷吗？就这么破旧吗？然后新兴的建筑物就那么少吗？实际上一再一看这个。老首都，才发现它其实很多东西都已经修建了很多年了，其实都有自己的规模化了。其实晚上可以获取的信息太少了。嗯，因为他们没有说在布兰特尔建都多久。对，我昨天晚上还有查了一下，然后那个李龙龟建都多久？可能布兰特尔可能占据了很长一段时间，有可能。因为这些建筑我们可以看到。因为这个国家太小了，太没有存在感了。对，你虽然虽然互联网说是很多资讯，但实际上有很多东西你是获取不到的。嗯，所以呢，好吧，大家关注我们的微信公众号，我去看世界，就可以看到很多世界的信息了。嗯，我去看世界，虽然国家小，哦、也是个国家。啊、嗯，好吧，我们继续出发了。嗯，拜拜。就所有那一圈都是属于，就是那个 Monkey Bay 那所有那一圈都是属于他推荐的那个地方。哦就是，如果我们去了 Monkey Bay 那一圈都是的。啊，我们去了吗？去了，就渔村那块一整块，但是我们只待了那个小点，然后没扩散很大。晚上我们在找 l o d 然后住了，早上又走，然后渔村那边也没走。大家看看我拿的摄影机包，还背着个这么大的包。老张手上拿了个水上车了。有有镜头举的就是不一样，还开个门。哦，这么回事，好吧，走了。